Hello, it's Megman Sonic X, and as a special 200 subscriber special, I have finally got my game bridge working for all you YouTube fans. And I doubt you want to hear about why it wasn't working, so I'm just going to skip that all, all entirely. So, as my next project, I will be doing. Well, this project is probably going to be one of those go on forever. Uh, Wi-Fi matches and if you ever want to do a match just let me know I'll plug in the game bridge record upload and so on anyways before I want to say yes I am still working on my cave well I'm still editing uh, another part of the cave story let's play part 41 I'm just being really lazy right now and those dang cards are taking longer to make than I than you would think for a simple little piece of nothing and yeah if I ever do get unlazy it will be finished soon which I want it to be so I could put a complete mark on my walkthrough I mean let's play that just so looks really professional to be a like walkthrough okay um like my battle pass here and now the endless wait I don't know about any of you players but I've been finding a lot of Japanese people on Wi-Fi I mean when I have a hundred times it will be a Japanese person I will be lucky if I find someone who's American and one thing not trying to tick off any Japanese people but Really, they do not want to have anything to do with you on this game. You ask for their battle pass, and they turn you down and, r and turn tail and run the other way. However, if you find someone with an American name, or at least English, they actually care to give you battle passes. <sighs> Go and select mine. To be honest, everyone seems to take a very long time when selecting Pokemon. I mean, okay, you see mine. Just pick three already. Seriously. Is it that hard? Anyways. Seems to be one of those few people that actually do go fast. So, they get Sunny Park Coliseum. Hoorah. I am stuck at Neon Coliseum because I keep killing myself because I use overwhelming Pokemon and then the Pokemon the they give me from now you know, the, thick with tension are basically, the appearance of such intense you know. Pokemon. Anyways, and now the so battle begins. first move and the what do you know? It attack, misses. But it missed. However, fortunately for me, so did they. The situation is a bit of a stalemate. So I just like to try again, and so does he. And let you know, it actually hits. And I was hoping it would kill him, but apparently not. And of course, got like paralysis. And that miracle berry, or however it was, boosts his accuracy, but look, he still misses. Yay me. So I go for extreme speed to finish him off before he gets to make a move. And speaking of finishing off, sorry if this finished product will be a little small. I want to try HD. Uh, Camtasia shrinks it, you know, because when you're HD and big, it's you're duplicating pixels. So this is basically true HD, I guess, right here, this small preview. It's unlike Movie Maker, where I can export, and the size will still be the same. This shrinks it, because it edits, you're editing in HD, but... Overall, it doesn't look as small as it in Cave Story, so let's see. I'm just gonna do comparing the number of remaining Pokemon. And but the battle has just out Metagross. Begun. And so I switch, naturally. But I didn't have anything that would go good against Metagross. To be honest, I really don't know what Metagross is. I never use Metagross. I was thinking it's gonna be steel, but Metagross makes its move! And of course, he uses Stealth Rock. So, he's thinking he's gonna finish me and then I'll switch with another Pokemon. So, I Avalanche him. But, thanks to my lack of 
a chilling breeze can knowing all 493 Pokemon, I just happen to choose not very effective. So I then go to Zap Cannon. Hopefully, it will hit. And if it's hard for me to memorize or the know all 493 and what they're weak to, I just do not know what to think of when Black and White comes out, and there's going to be over 500. So I throw Zap Cannon at him to paralyze him. He pursues, and the mood in the uh, has become of course he gets a super settling. effective attack. It's been so long, I forgot what Pursuit was, I think it was Dark? He was thinking I was going to switch out, but no. So I go for extreme speed to try to do a little move. thing to him, but and I was right, it was little. Matchup. Not very effective. I just wanted to get the first hit. And then he uses Explosion, which, of course, like the guy says, just annihilates me. I forgot if it was Explosion or Self-Destruct if you survive with, if you have a Focus Sash. Alright, I don't have a Focus Sash, and I died. So, no point in going about that. So, naturally, I send out my second choice, my powerhouse, Giratina. I mean, he's good offense, but he sucks defensively compared to Ice. Yay, Shiny! Shiny Giratina is my favorite Shiny. I'm a big Giratina fan. I must really thank my friend for giving me his Giratina. And... I'm not sure if I mentioned it in this recording take, but... Um... Battle Revolution has a really tight uh, Wi-Fi uh, filter. If it's hacked... It ain't getting through, even if it looks legit and everything. And of course, would well, you know it, a Smurgle. It's beginning of the fight, and all, and he gets a one hit K. No, he gets sheer code to actually hit. I was thinking, WTF, WTF, I want to strangle that Smurgle. I mean, are you serious? One hit KO. And it's 30 accuracy, and it actually hits. Now, I found this Kyogre just recently. Uh, looking at his moves, it looks With like the, the person Kyogre just caught him and put him on Wi-Fi because he has the same the moves as when you first start out. So the I put on Aqua Veil. I have left over, so I want to see if I can get two HP boosts after the turn. This guy's taking a long time to make his move. And look! No wait, never mind, that's to get something else. So he uses Spore. And of course, my last Pokemon, he puts to sleep. However, the leftovers restore health and still this. Oh wait, no, I didn't get Aqua Ring because I'm asleep. So I didn't get to use it. So now, here's where I fought WTF. I'm sticking my both middle fingers at you. Sheer Cold hit again, a second time. I'm like, really? What the heck is this guy doing? I mean... Sheer freaking cold, and it actually over. hits twice. Ugh, I I just didn't know what to think about him. So, anyways, that was my first random Wi-Fi match being recorded. So naturally, I always try to offer my battle pass to see if he wants. But like I said, those Japs, Japanese, do not like to give up theirs for some weird reason. I mean, antisocial much? So with that. I tried to do another match, but with the uh, time. However, this video as a whole is 24 minutes, so unfortunately, you ain't gonna get to see that one. So with that, I will say goodbye and see you in my next upload.